Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I love carbs. And uh, so I'm just making up some dinner, some uh, rice noodles, and I have some leftover pasta from the kiddies dinner. So I'm going to be shoving them all together. I don't know how it'll go because um, I'm going to have a uh, sweet and sour sauce with it. Oh yeah, look at those macros. What is I'm talking about? 0 0.2 grams fat for uh, every 100. And I think that's 0 0.48. So this is uh, based on 125. I don't know if you can see that. 112.5 grams. So basically, for every 100, I'm going to have 0 0.2 gram fat. And for every 100 grams, I'm going to have 0 0.43 the grams of salt. Now, why do I keep looking at my salt content? Uh, I think it's very good to watch your salt content. Um, especially if you're losing weight and you want to see results, there. You know, let me put let me put it simply this way: when it is icy out on the roads, right? In the UK, they grit the roads with salt. Now, what salt does? It absorbs moisture in the air, so that the roads don't get covered with moisture and then ice over. All right. So that's that's what salt does. Having salt in the body will do the, exactly the same thing. Salt will get into the muscles and will just soak up all the water. So not what, not only do you become dehydrated, but you also it also through that dehydration your body says I need more water. So you just chug, chug, chug more water. And eventually your body can swell up with water. It's called water retention. And uh, Processed foods, a lot of processed foods, vegan processed foods, normal processed foods has a high amount of salt and um, that could lead to a high amount of water retention. So you can go ahead and you can cut your salt right down in a, in a matter of a week you'll notice that you uh, will, will drop in weight. And then you can have a, a bunch of salt again, and then you'll notice you'll be able to notice that your puff, your face get puffy, your muscles just swell up with salt, and that's that's the reason why I don't use salt. The reason, another reason, is because salt will just absorb the moisture, absorb water in my body, and water is used in chemical reactions within my cells, within my body, within my brain, and so. I try and not have salt at all. The most amount of salt I'll ever have in any meal will be 0 0.65 grams per 100 grams. So that's 0 0.65 percent. So it's a very, very tiny amount. I don't go above that. So um, you know, this this pasta, this not pasta, the sweet and sour sauce here is 0 0.48 grams for every 100 grams of foodstuffs. And so, perfect. It, it, it does, Tesco's is quite good. Some shopping centers are quite good at showing, you know, if it's orange, just be careful. If it's green, it's good. If it's red, whoa. Um, I only ignore the red when it's high amounts of sugars. This does have a high amount of sugars. It's not above 22. So they put it as amber. Uh, so just be careful about it. In fact, you know what? When it comes to the high carb, low fat food revolution, it's not a problem. You can have as much sugar as you want. Uh, so sweet and sour, Uncle Ben's, really good. I do recommend their rices, but check out their rices. Make sure their rice is low in salt and you'll be able to lose weight. And their rice is actually quite tasty, actually. A little bit too oily for my liking, um, but they are good. So watch your salt levels um, if you want to drop the weight nicely and uh, make sure that uh, you eat low fat, high carb, low salt, vegan. So thank you very much for watching guys. Do comment, do subscribe. Well, you know, what levels do you say that's enough, I'm not gonna have any more of that. Do you do that with fats? Do you do that with uh, salt? Do you do that with, you know, proteins, whatever. Let me know in the comments below and share this video with your friends. Share the rest of all my videos with your friends uh, and it'll be good to just start some general conversation about this. So thank you very much for watching guys and I'll catch you later. Bye.